There has never been a better time to take the SAT. As of 2024, you can use Desmos on the SAT. How does this help you? Well, let's say that you get this question. A circle in the XY plane has a diameter with endpoints 2, 4 and 2, 14. An equation of this circle is x minus 2 squared plus y minus 9 squared equals r squared, where r is a positive constant. What is the value of r? Well, let's say that you have no idea what to do on this question. You can at least try to graph it in Desmos and try to figure it out there. So let's take this equation right here and graph it in Desmos. So that's x minus 2 squared plus y minus 9 squared equals r squared. All right. Now Desmos isn't going to graph anything for us because it doesn't know what r is. r is a constant, it's just a number. We could replace it with a number like 2, and then we would get a graph. Up here we get a circle with a radius 2, but we want to try a bunch of different values for r. So let's replace it with r again and create a slider for r by clicking this button. Now it's setting r equal to 1 and it's graphing a circle with radius 1. And if we want to, we can try different values of r by modifying this slider. And it makes the circle bigger when we drag the slider to the right. Now, how big do we need to make this circle? Well, if we go back to the problem, the circle has a diameter with endpoints 2, 4 and 2, 14. So these points need to be on our circle. Let's graph them in Desmos. 2, 4, 2, 14. If we look at our graph again, it looks like our circle is a little bit too small. We've got a point here and here that we need to make sure that our circle passes through. So let's modify the slider and make our circle grow until it passes through those points and now we stop and look at the value of r. r is equal to 5. We could write this as our answer but we really need to check and make sure that this is the right answer because what if it's off by just a little bit. All right well let's remove these points 2 comma 4 and 2 comma 14 and make sure that they're on the circle. All right both of those points had an x coordinate of 2 so I'm going to graph the line containing all the points that have an x coordinate of 2 by graphing x equals 2 and we get this vertical line that goes through the center of our circle. And then we could click on this line and hover over this point, and Desmos is telling us that this line and this circle intersect at the point 214. So 214 is on the circle, and down here, 24 is also on the circle. So we're done, we've confirmed that r equals five is the solution to this problem. I think Desmos is kind of broken. What do you think?